Well, hello, Gemini. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. All right, Gemini. Let's go ahead and get to it. Let's get to it. <laughs> See what we got. All right, got the Page of Swords. Ooh, Gemini, you already know. You guys already know your person is coming back. <laughs> All right, the Knight of Cups. Let's get two more. Oh, look at this. Absolutely. Oh, Gemini, this is amazing. Let's get the bottom. All right, looks like you're reaping for your reward here. So here at the Page of Swords, it, you know, I'm just going to be honest with you. This is someone's spine. Generally, this could talk about, you know, um, gathering information. This, I mean, if it came out with pinnacles, things of that nature, you can see that that does have something to do with like jobs and career and schooling. But all of this, this is, this is definitely in this particular reading, because I do them all the time. But in this particular reading, I'm saying this is more so in the love department okay this is talking about someone spying on you they're looking at you okay <laughs> they're trying to figure out what gemini is doing and you know the reason why they're doing that is because they're coming in here with the, the knight of cups this does talk about someone coming in with love and offer you know they're going to be asking you something are you going to be prepared for that okay um the judgment call i mean i always say judgment call always the judgment card here always talks about making a call whether it's a phone call or a an action or a decision to do something and we see that they have made their made up their mind it talks about reconciliation and what is their goal what, where are you going to be here the ten of cups this is how you're going to be feeling it talks about contentment now we also see this here with the seven of pentacles it talks about you know all your hard work is paying off now again we can use this one to talk about career and jobs. You guys have been looking for certain type of jobs, things of that nature. You're going to be successful. Okay, really good. Starts off really good. Let's go ahead and get some more cards for you, Gemini. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this person is watching because they're in love. Okay, they are definitely in love. And this is them taking this big step here with the full card. So there's going to be new beginnings for you. And a lot of you guys are, you know, this is still your card. This is still your reading. This is not theirs, but this is what someone is doing. And look at where they're trying to go. Here with the four of wands, talk about committed relationships, stability. Stability even when it comes down to finances, right? Feeling stable and content. Okay, this is a beautiful reading. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and get one more card. Yeah, see now someone, this is victory for you though. This is not, you know, this is not saying that this person wasn't like this. Because again, it looks like that's probably the reason why they're coming back in. Okay, because they were playing mind games, you know, sabotaging the connection. But it looks like this is what they're going to be apologizing for. They're coming back in. Yeah, a person from your past here with the Six of Cups. All right. This is this is, this is is pretty amazing. It really is. So let's go ahead and get your... Um, start clarifying. I'm going to start with the Page of Sword. Go ahead and let's get it. Okay. All right. So yeah, someone has been doing some, you know, been thinking. Okay. This is this is more so, um, yeah, uh, like what they what they believe and what you believe. Okay. Um, but they see here that they may want to invest. These two cards here talks about investment, and this is the reason why their energy is so strong. Why they're coming in so strong. You know, they don't want to resist any longer. Okay. They don't want to. They want to put in, they want to put in the effort. They want to invest. This is also talking about looking in investments too, when it comes down to finances. Some of you guys may have been struggling, but, um, you know, this is talking about contentment, things getting much better, especially here with that 10 of cups and that victory energy, energy and that four of wands. So we're going to go ahead and get the Knight of cups, but this is definitely more so a 
Love base reading. Mm, a bond that cannot be broken. You know, and, and we got to be careful too. This person may, you know, they may not have been um, the reason why they were struggling or the reason why this connection may have had some issues is because they may have had addictions. Maybe they were drinking or over consuming but they do have love for you. And I also feel like this devil is talking about this is a very strong connection that you guys are feeling, okay? And they feel it also. We have two kings of cups on the on the board, all right? So they, they have a lot of feeling for you, this past person, that's for sure. So let's go ahead and get the judgment card. Yeah, and this is what I was saying before. This this is because of, that's why I figured that card, these two cards were going to connect pretty much. So, you know, the five of swords talk about the sneaky energy, self-sabotaging, resisting the connection, okay? Things of that nature. This person could have been very, you know, um, just out of the blue, start acting funny, start ghosting, you know, acting very detached. Okay, so now this is what they have to talk to you about. Of course, right? They miss you. They love you. It was this is them trying to trick themselves. So let's go ahead and get the Ten of Cups. Oh yeah, they miss you. Okay, so this is the opposite of this Five of Pentacles. Not feeling cold anymore. You see, they were sitting next to fire, so no longer feeling cold. So you are their home. That's how they feel when they're around you. And they're coming. They're going to make a move here. This is talking about moving forward. Let's go ahead and get the King of Cups. Mm -hmm. So this person is not even feeling content now. This person is feeling some kind of way. Bored and missing you. See, they, they you love them and you have feelings for them just like they have feelings for you. But they made you feel... Here, with that five of swords, they made you feel like you weren't, you know, enough. But there will be healing here in this connection. And I feel like they will express to you how they feel. Let's go ahead and get the full card. Someone is coming back. Absolutely. Here with the judgment card again. So, yeah, they're going to... This talks about willpower. I'm not going to take it because it's too many. But it talks about willpower. Going ahead and taking that leap. Because <laughs> I'm not sure if they know how you're feeling. So, it is going to take a leap of faith to come back to you. Especially if they know they really did something that they shouldn't have done. And this is the reason why the apology is so heavy in your reading. This is the reason why they're coming back so heavy. And I think there's an element of you guys being very defensive. And I believe that they know that. And that's part of the reason why that willpower, that strength is needed to come towards you. Let's go ahead and get that four of wands. Yeah, there we go again. Got two of the full cards here. Um, so a, 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 a new beginning, a clean slate. Okay. And this is what they're wanting. They have found themselves, right? They've thought about it. And a lot of them still have work to do. So this is not a cookie cutter reading. This person definitely has work to do, but they've been thinking about it here with that hermit card. So let's get the last card here. Let's get the last one. It's going to be the five of swords. We see that they definitely miss you. So let's see what else we can find here. Mmm. Yeah, this ending has caused a lot of, uh, some of you guys are just going to leave this alone and leave it be because the person is toxic, but we definitely see that there is an element of them wanting to come back in. But this also talks about starting a new life, a new, a, a new for you, because you have dealt with so much toxic energy. And because this person was very sabotaging with themselves and the connection and very spiteful, that type of thing. Even though there's feelings of coldness here, um, some of you guys truly may, but I do see that the person is going to try to come back in. But for some of you, you want you want new, you want a clean slate here, okay? And this is talking about moving on, completions here with the world. 
So, you know, new cycles. So it's going to be up to you guys if you decide if you want them in your life. Some ex, some exes are not going to come back because they were just too toxic and you're too defensive and you're standing your ground and you're, you know, having your beliefs for what you want. Okay, so this is just it for some and then there's going to be others that will, but it has to be right. So Gemini, this is your reading. This is, you're going to, you know, start anew here is what I'm saying here with the full card, a brand new life and a brand new world. So Gemini, this is your reading. Again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe. I am doing personal readings. The information is inside the description box. Gemini, I'll see you later. Bye.